One of the most crucial aspects of a divorce is determining how your property will be divided. Whether you consider yourself wealthy, middle class, poor, educated, uneducated, financially responsible, or a money squanderer, you must understand the importance of financial issues in a divorce. Hello, my name is Carrie Gregg, and I'm one of the attorneys here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan. I'm here to talk about everything Texas law offers in case someone gets a divorce. So let's jump right in. Going through a divorce is not the same as breaking up with a significant other. When you marry, especially in a state like Texas, the financial implications can be significant. What you ignore right now could come back twice as much. A Texas divorce will determine whether the property you and your spouse own falls into three categories, your property, your spouse's property, or the community estate you both own. Property owned by you or your spouse before the divorce is not community property. This property is not divisible in a divorce. The dresser or the car you purchased before marriage with your first few paychecks after college will not be divided in the divorce. Another consideration for you and your spouse is whether spousal maintenance will be required. Many people refer to alimony as spousal maintenance when discussing spousal support after a divorce. While many people believe spousal support after the divorce is only for the wealthy and famous, it may surprise you that the average person regularly receives and pays spousal maintenance in divorce cases. In a divorce case, spousal maintenance and community property division are linked. Judges might be hesitant to award your spousal maintenance even if you deserve it based on the facts of your case. This is because if a judge grants you a disproportionate share of your community estate, rather than ordering your spouse to pay you maintenance for a set period of time after the divorce, that might be the appealing option for him or her to consider. In Texas, spousal maintenance is not a long-standing right. This is what financial information exchange has to do with a divorce. Rather than pondering what your spouse is thinking with a settlement offer or negotiation tactic, you and your spouse will exchange financial information to give each other a better idea of the information on which your settlement negotiations will be based. This level of transparency encourages and opens honest discussion about what the divorce means financially for the two of you and what you all will hope to achieve through your negotiation process. When we look at what Texas family law says about turning over financial obligations and information in a divorce, we see that you and your spouse need to have all of your ducks in a row from the start. You and your spouse must turn over financial information to the opposing spouse within 30 days of filing an answer in your divorce. This holds true regardless of whether formal discovery requests are made. Retirement savings are not the most exciting aspect of a divorce by any means, but they are crucial nonetheless. Consider all your efforts in amassing retirement savings at the point in your life. Now that you're getting divorced, it's likely a portion of your retirement savings will be divided in the divorce. Hopefully, this helps clarify the divorce laws in Texas for you. For more information or for any other questions you may have, please call us at 281-810-9760. And be sure to subscribe to YouTube channel and to enable post notifications if you have liked this video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Thank you.